hi you guys and welcome back to the channel i am going to show you today how i save by um, buying some of my food at the family dollar which they have great food options there and i spent under eight dollars um on my trip i'm just making a you know pasta um friendly um comforting food um for the family um if you are a family of two or three this will work for you um i bought these seasonings they're all for one dollar now some of these items i did buy from walmart like the season blend and it was only one dollar as well um the seasons that you saw um they were one dollar um so i did get this ground turkey from walmart because i wasn't really into the family dollar meats and their meats just didn't look too well for me so i just bought um the walmart brand meat which was um under five dollars um i bought this meat it was on actually clearance so it was like three dollars and some change so you just place that that blending seasoning mix inside of your pot put your seasonings of choice in your pot i did add a little water to the meat mixture um and so i'm going to show you basically what i use just the chest hill garlic pepper from family dollar i use the chestnut hill onion powder from family dollar um, and then I went in with uh, my coarse brown pe black pepper from um, my local Tom Thumb grocery store. And then also I got this Prego traditional pasta sauce from Family Dollar. It was only $3.35. Um, the pasta that you see over there too as well, the chestnut um, hill is from Family Dollar. It was a dollar of course. And then also um, in my jar, I just added some water. If you didn't know, add water to the end of your pasta sauce um, just to get all that good flavors out of there. Mix it up and then pour it in. And then, um, especially if you don't want your pasta sauce to be like super chunky, um, just add some water into it just to, um, you know, blend it out a little bit, make it more saltier. Now we like ours a little bit thicker. Um, so that's why I didn't go back in with water. And now I'm just going to drain this pasta. Um, this pasta was actually good, you guys. Like, if you have a family dollar in your area, a dollar general, there's nothing wrong with buying their brands of foods. Um, I've been learning how, just like for two weeks now, how people are saving, just buying, you know, here and there type of foods from family dollar. Like I said, they do have... Um, dollar options and things like that that you can save you're on a cheap budget as I am um, so don't be afraid to go in there stop in there and look around and see what your options is for your family like I say they have like ground turkey ground beef in there um, and I've seen people make you know big meals out of these family dollar um, meals that they're doing under five um, so mine was under eight. I did grab some of this Furlany, um Texas toast, garlic toast, and um, I did add pretty much my own seasonings to it as well um, because it didn't look like it would be good without any seasonings. It was just looking like kind of a little, you know, a little bland, um, but this is what it looks like in the bag. The bread oh my gosh you guys it was really soft and you know i don't know how to say it's squishy um and i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but we kind of like our bread you know soft and fresh filling so it had that soft fresh filling to it it just didn't have much any much of parsley or the garlic seasoning and now um in the bag it did smell like a strong garlicky smell so I know they probably put a lot of garlic on it, but we're going to go back in and put our garlic pepper um, just to make sure that, you know, it is seasoned to perfection. Okay, so um, in my pan, I didn't add anything if you like um, butter, seen. but this is the outcome of the plate. 
Um, we got our garlic toast from Family Dollar. We got our pasta meal from Family Dollar. We got a Frigo Parmesan that I'm gonna top this off with. Um, and I got that like a week ago from Walmart, which the uh, price on that was like only $2, but we're talking about Family Dollar. So don't be afraid to stop by Family Dollar and purchase some, you know, budget friendly meals there they do have a lot of food there wide selection so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this under eight dollar budget friendly meal